just before the video starts make sure you go and check out my website ystech.org this is the place where you're going to be finding the latest news and everything great in technology from reviews to tutorials and much more so make sure you go check it out in the description ystech.org i'll see you there Hey guys, it is Wires from Wires Tech here, and today we're going to be unboxing something. It just came in the mail in the middle of when I was studying, so I just well said uh, I might as well take a break. Just finished that past paper, uh, statistics, my exams tomorrow. And yeah, we'll take a look at what just came in the mail, so um, I'm not too sure what it is. It's a bit of a small package to be perfectly honest. I'm just going to cover up with this piece of paper, with this piece of paper here, just so you can't see my details. But uh, let's get straight into it. Okay. 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 Well, this is my multimeter from China, and uh, yeah, well, I needed one because I'm gonna be making some projects soon uh, that involve me needing to check the vol voltage and amperage of things, <laughs> so I don't damage any of the circuits. No, it's actually quite good quality. I believe I only got this one for ten dollars, and uh, it's a hell of a lot better than the cheap, cheap ones you get, especially the ones we used in school. We had these ones as well, but obviously they were a bit a bit, they were a little bit better quality. Um, this one is a, quite plasticky. You can feel that. It can be scratched easily. The screen is okay quality. But other than that, I think it's going to do the job. I'm just going to have to open it up and put some batteries inside. And then I'll check if it's actually working or not. Alright, so I'm, I said I might as well show you guys uh, what type of batteries it takes. So if you actually see one, if you actually want to buy it or not. I didn't know. I thought it would be... To be perfectly honest, I've never owned a multimeter before. Oh, okay. Really? Are you joking? A 9 volt? Okay, um... I don't know if I actually have a 9 volt. I know there's one to smoke alarm. I'll go to check if I actually have any 9 volt batteries on me. I mean, 9 volt or 12 volt? I don't know. This is square ones, the 9 volt one. Pretty sure it is. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. <coughs> well, unfortunately, I couldn't actually find one, but I, I just pulled one out of the smoke alarm. I gotta remember to put that back in. But well, let's go ahead and see if this works. So let's just grab this here. There we go. Okay, it's very snug, very, very snug fit right there. I'm not gonna put this back on because I'm about to take it off. Let's just see if it works. Looks like it's working. Okay, um, let's see if I can remember how to operate one of these. So this is voltage, 1.5 voltage, okay this is resistance, I honestly can't remember how to use this, okay let's just go here, it came with these two nice pins so that would be really handy, so as far as I can remember you go I have to pull out my electronics book, I actually can't remember. Um, it's been like three years since I've used one of these, but I should still remember. 10 amps and calm. You know, things happening. Um, well, I'll get back to you guys for the overall review of this thing. It's just been an unboxing. I literally cannot remember how to use a voltmeter. It's actually been a while. So, yeah, well, that about sums it up for this uh, multimeter here. Sorry, I've seen voltmeter. It's multimeter. And, uh, well, it looks like it works. It turns on. So, well, let's see if it actually gives proper readings when I choose a test for it. I'm going to probably test like a. USB 5 volt or something like that 
uh, just check the cable <laughs> is working and if this thing is actually working properly. But yeah, make sure you go and check out my website if you're watching us on YouTube. That is ystech.org, Y-S-T-E-C-H dot org. And I'll, you'll find the latest reviews, unboxing articles, and much more that's coming out. My exams are finishing really soon on the uh, 14th of November. This video should come out a bit later than that. So there should be a hell of a lot more stuff going on because I have a spare time now. As the university will finish on the 14th for me. Luckily, it's been one hell of a ride. Well, yeah, and if you're watching this on wisetech.org, go and check out twitch.tv slash Mazito. I'll be streaming a lot there on the holidays, uh, maybe a few IRL streams outside. I know there's one other guy in New Zealand that does IRL streams, I think his name's Ray in the City. Although he doesn't really go out in the city much, he's really just in his house. I've only ever seen him outside a few times. I did my IRL streams in Auckland City, at least outside. I'm pretty sure I was one of the first people. Um, those vaults are probably gone now. I did them in February of 2019, so... Yeah, well, let's get some more IRL streams out there, and hopefully we'll be one uh, hell of a good IRL streamer, if not a normal streamer on the computer. But thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. See you guys, and bye!